Hello, hello, hello to my Capricorns. This is Queen Ellen Ra coming to you with a very special reading. What do we know about our Capricorns? As you know, I like to start out with high vibrating information about all of my astrological sign and also some fun facts, right? So my Capricorns, let's see, besides the fact that you all are earth signs, right? Your quadruplicity, which is your quality, is that your cardinal sign, which really just means in short, you all are initiators. You would rather get along with people than not get along with people. Capricorns are reserved people, um, prudent, patient, you use strategy instead of force. You seek security, um, you're disciplined, you're determined and quick to seize an opportunity. Your symbol is the goat, and I always tell you this, so goats are sure-footed animals um, who is able to ascend the heights by taking advantage of every foothold. The goat butts his way through obstructions. So you all know how to, in a very, very classy way, to get what you want, right? Your polar opposite sign is the cancer. If you're interested in having a personal reading and to find out why, um, and also, or even just to get a personal reading for yourself, please contact me at 202-460-3205. Also, some other fun tidbits about um, the Capricorn is that um, your flowers are the carnation and ivy, right? Trees that are associated with the Capricorn are the pine, the elm, and the poplar, right? And so you want to know what other people think about you, Capricorn? And I know some of you all are probably laughing like, yeah, what do they think? <laughs> it doesn't matter what they think, really. But how other people see you is that you're often seen as an irresistible force, Um and an immovable object, right? So people put you in charge because you're decisive, right? Um, you're famous for having great sense of realism. When other people need rash, a rational head in a crisis, they call you. And so in personal relationships, some friends will stand in line to unho unload their problems onto you. And others avoid you because they think your outlook is too downbeat. Everyone agrees that it's difficult to divert you from your course when you set a goal, right? And so um, sometimes people think you're aloof, but it's because you... You have you have a deep sense, but it, it really stems from like a deep sense of personal privacy, right? So there are some famous Capricorns that I want to tell you about, right? So um, Muhammad Ali was a famous Capricorn. Um, Dr. Martin Luther King uh, was a famous um, Capricorn. Just so many wonderful famous Capricorns. People who are, like I said, spirit has lived on Tiger Woods as a Capricorn. Elvis Presley is a Capricorn. Um, who else do we have? Katie Couric is a Capricorn. Um, um, Michelle Obama is a Capricorn. David Bowie is a Capricorn. Um, ah, who is that? What's the designer's name? Diane Vaughn. Um, um, Furstenberg is a um, Capricorn. Faye Dunaway, the actress. Ellen DeGeneres, you know, is a Capricorn. Um, who else is a uh, Capricorn, famous Capricorn? Huh, who else, who else, who else? Um, Dolly Parton, um, Denzel Washington, um, who else? Sissy Spacek. We just have so many people who are famous Capricorns, right? Um, Anthony Hopkins, J. Edgar Hoover, <laughs> so many people are Capricorns, famous Capricorns. So people, you all are very reliable, right? So let's get into your reading. Most High God in the universe, please give me a special reading for my Capricorns as it relates to all areas of their lives specifically in areas of money and wealth, also in areas of power and intellect, also in areas of spirituality and where they need to take action, and also in areas of creativity and emotions. What information do we have for my wonderful Capricorns? Let's see what the cards have to say, Capricorns. Again, you all know this is a general reading, right? So some of it may resonate with you, some may not. That's why you have personal readings. Yes. I love the feedback I get from uh, all of my sons and also my Capricorns. You all always give me some great feedback. Even with the general readings, you all are just awesome. All right, so we have the Justice card, the Hierophant card. I thought I saw another major arcana here. Okay, so the Justice card is attached to the Libra. The Hierophant is the Taurus, right? So um, life is going good for you. 
It's really going good for you. Now, um, <clears throat> some of you, now look at this. Okay, so we have this, um, this Six of Swords card, right? Some of you in this Knight of Cups, some of you have sailed away from a relationship that you thought was like Prince Charming for you. See how this person right here, you know, the horse in the back, and he's like a, the knight in shining armor with the roses in his hand and all of that. He has the the um, the uh, the basket down here and the blanket and all these wonderful things. Like he was just perfect, right? But you have sailed away from that. Like, but you're and you're at peace with sailing away from it. That's why it's so it's so important. And this water represents peace and serenity, right? You just sailed away. You're not even looking back. You're kind of looking down because I want to make sure you get just get this in real close. Kind of looking down because you're a little disappointed because you were kind of hopeful in that. But at the same time, you knew, okay, I need to sail away from this. What seemed to be was not, basically. Um, I'm also looking at. Um, Let's put this here and here. And uh, like I said, organizationally, things are going very, very well for you. This is this higher font card right here. Again, another earth sign, right? Um, very logical, very has their stuff together. You know, very much like you. All earth signs pretty much have those things in common, that you all are just logical people down to earth. You know, family is important to you. Loved ones are important to you. Those kind of things. But like I said, this is attached to the Taurus. So this is about... Um, you being reliable, patient, practical, devoted, responsible, stable, generous, and trustworthy, all these wonderful things, kind, organized, all these, right? But you're also, like the Taurus, you're also um, fixed, right? Um, fixed in a sense. Now, so as a Capricorn, you're a cardinal sign, meaning that you would rather get along with people than fight them, but you're, you're an initiator, right? But in this instance right here, um, in this relationship here, you felt like, and this is, Taurus is a fixed sign. You felt like this was like the knight in shining armor. So it's kind of, you were almost fixated on this a little bit. Almost like, oh, I was really hoping this thing would work out. But now you're at a point where you just sailed away from it. And you're not really looking back. You're kind of looking down, almost disappointed. But look at this. I want to show you something. Right here. This is letting me know that your brow chakra is wide open. This is your third eye that people talk about. They talk about your third eye being open. This is what the brow chakra is. Your intuition was telling you that you needed to just walk, you need to sail away from this and be at peace with it. This is what your intuition was telling you about this relationship so that you can just be this part, this person that you've always been. Just reawaken this knight of wands, right? Somebody who is just, um, who is on fire. This is you. You know, this is like Stella got her groove back. It's all like Steve got his groove back. You know, this is who you are, the Knight of Wands, right? Just amazing, amazing, amazing person. This is that fire inside of you after deciding, okay, I'm going to be at peace with this situation not being what I thought it was going to be. It's amazing how people really believe that certain people are their twin flames, right? But twin flame is so much deeper than what a lot of people think, and I'll talk about that another time. But you are a very ambitious person. This is what the Knight of, the Knight of Wands represents, a person who's very ambitious, someone who's a risk taker, someone who's action oriented, right? But see, this person right here that you had to sail away from is also a person who, um, who embodied some of the same things that you embody. However, this was on the flip side of it, right? So you were vibrating high, they were vibrating lower. This person had the gift of gab, but they were always bragging. This person is self-assured, um, but they are vain. This person is enthusiastic, but they made a lot of empty promises. You see what I'm saying? You can have the same person or the same astrological sign. One is vibrating at a high frequency, the other one is vibrating at a low frequency. And that's what this person represented for you. Like they had that same fire and drive that you had, but theirs was like built on shaking ground and yours was built on solid ground. That's what I'm trying to show you here with this Knight of Wands right here. And so, and you saw right through it. Yeah. This right here allows you to see right through it. This enlightenment, right? <clears throat> you always got to trust your intuition. And so when you trusted your intuition and you saw, okay, I can see right through this. Yes, you sailed away on that boat in your mind and your spirit, and you were calm, cool, and collected with it. You just say, you know what? It's a decision I needed to make, and even though I'm disappointed, 
guess what? I feel like I made the best decision for me. Look how this turns out. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Yes, yes, and yes. Look at this, the sun card. So for a lot of you, it's going to be critical that you take a lot of like walks in the sun and just bask in the sun. That's going to cure any kind of depression or anxiety or frustrations or feeling down. Like this person right here is sailing away on the water. Um, they're at peace with their decision, but it still doesn't take away the disappointment, right? Um, but that's what I would recommend for some of you all to soak up some of that good vitamin D. And this is how it comes out for you. Just wonderful. Business is doing great. You're feeling like your life is balanced out like uh, like this right here. The, the scales are balanced. You feel like your life is fully balanced out. And then look at the, this money right here. See, this person is very regal. Look at this. This is the queen of queen of pentacles. Very regal looking. This person has kept their head high like you, classy, in situations where other people may have snapped and gone off, but this is not you, right? You're focusing on what matters most, right? Which is your stability, your security. And so not just money, but this is about you taking care of family, investing in yourself, coming up with new ideas, seeking new opportunities, just so many wonderful things around money because you have family and loved ones to take care of, right? And then I'm looking at this. This is the Queen of Cups. Very compassionate person. You deeply care about other people. You are emotionally aware of what's going on. So I love that, right? Amazing when you meet somebody and you think, okay, well, this person is like the male or female version of me, right? That's what a lot of times people think. Male, male version, female, female version male female version whatever vice versa and you think okay this person is the person for me time machine now look let me tell you something okay this number three when i say me myself and i this is really about you you do not look like what you came out of you really don't look like what you came out of in this particular romance situation you were disappointed but you didn't come out looking older your hair didn't get any grayer. You didn't gain or lose any extra weight. You just don't look like what you've been through. At all. You don't look like what you've been through. And that's what I need for you to see. Like I said, this number three is very, very pivotal number, right? And this number three is significant in numerology. Very, very, very powerful, the number three is. All numbers are powerful, but, you know, we're talking about just, you know, I love numbers. But the number three is very, very powerful. It just means it's, it's significant in, in a lot of ways, right? So three is really about having a very positive mindset, which you have had throughout this thing, this in, entire part, right? This entire romance thing that you had to kind of sort of sail away from. But you've just kept your head up in this you because number threes are really born to inspire people. Um, the way that you all cast a spell, like I talk to a lot of people who think that somebody has put black magic on them and all this other stuff, but see the way that you cast a spell is just by being delightful, by motivating others to act through their passion and enthusiasm, enthusiasm, by just being happy, you know, um, and just having a, um, uh, having an effortless capacity to connect with just people in general. That's the spell that you put on people. And that's why you're protected, right? That is why you're protected. That's all that this number three means. All these wonderful things that this number three means. I'm going to get in close. You don't look like what you've been through. This is a time machine. It's like, and when we talk about time, we know that time is an illusion, right? So when we talk about time for the most part, and I'm not talking about tarot card readers, mediums, psychics, because we know it's an illusion. But when we think about time, just like in this dimension, you're thinking about measurement, like a day, a week, a month, whatever. Um, but we know that you don't look like what you've been through, according to these cards here. You don't look anything like what you've been through. Your business is doing well. Your life is fully balanced out. You've been taking your walks in the sun, just glistening and shining. You know, um, skin just, just, just glistening. <laughs> you know, as a result of you just taking these these walks in the sun, you look like you've been in a time machine, just completely preserved. You're just looking great. That's what I have for you, Capricorns. I hope you have a good day. I know you will. Bye.